Hi, my name's Tammy. I'm a polymer clay artist and welcome to my studio. I've been running my polymer clay shop for about four years now and by far my most popular character is Maxine the Goldfish, otherwise known as Tangerine Maxine. As an artist who primarily works in miniatures, I had the idea to make something big, bigger than anything I'd ever done before. Because it's polymer clay, I knew I had to make something hollow, lest I use up 30 packs of clay. And I suddenly had an idea while brushing my teeth that if it's hollow, I might as well put a light in it. So here we are today, attempting to make my very first goldfish lamp. As you guys can see, before I start any project, I'm always sketching on my iPad first. And speaking of sketching, I have a quick word from our sponsor. So as you guys can tell, I've been wanting to improve my illustration skills and I've been doing that through taking classes on Skillshare. They happen to be the sponsor of this video and are a very good friend of my channel. Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives with thousands of classes in painting, illustration, film, design, music, and way more taught by industry professionals. And and now Skillshare provides learning paths, which are classes meant to be taken in order, so you don't even have to think about which classes to take. Skillshare can help you curate your whole learning journey for you. Learning paths are available in a range of experience levels from beginner to advanced and a variety of categories, including design, illustration, video editing, and way more. The learning path that I'm taking right now is called Discover the Art and Science of Drawing, and the instructor Brent Eviston is so phenomenal. He's been a drawing and illustration professor for 20 years and it feels like I'm back in art school myself. So if you want to learn a new skill, the first 500 people to use my link will receive a one free month trial of Skillshare. Get started today. And thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So it's 2.38 right now and I'm getting a little bit of a late start because I was spending all day glazing all my shop orders and getting those ready to pack and ship. But for some reason, I actually have a lot of trust in myself that I can get this done before like five o'clock because now we have our little game plan and I actually think this might be really strange straightforward. I went ahead and bought these two different types of LED lights off of Amazon because according to folks on Reddit, you really don't want to use like actual light bulbs for polymer clay. It might get too hot. So obviously a real candlelight is a no as well, but an LED candlelight might just be the thing. This one was super cheap. It came in like a pack of 12. You just switch it on like this and oops, it flickers like a little candle and it's actually a lot brighter than I thought it'd be. I don't really like how it flickers though. I kind of want the lamp to be more like a nightlight, just staple throughout. So I also got this one. It's called an LED puck. It was also relatively inexpensive. It's battery operated as well and it is much, much brighter. You can also change the colors which is kind of cool. I have a feeling I'll like this one more, but we'll see. Let's just get started, shall we? Easy rider on the highway Station wagon going slow Windows open, you are basking In the bluegrass radio mm. I want it to be as big as this. I'm gonna need a lot more foil. With your hand out on the wind I keep this folded at the corner So that I could not forget it Folded at the corner so that I could not forget. Okay, so the easy part is done. This is, <laughs> it's so big. I... So this is Maxine's body and here we have the tangerine. I'm not gonna make the eyes yet because frankly, I'm a little afraid that I don't have enough translucent clay for this. I'm hoping since it's hollow, I can just do a thin layer all around and not use that much clay. I've never done this on this scale before, so I honestly don't know how much clay I need. This is what I have left though. After this, I am out of clay. So fingers crossed. Oh my gosh, I really hope this is enough. I 
But I'm gonna think of this as a crumb coat. I still have two full blocks of clay left that I delegated for the body. So I think I have plenty of room to like add more layers and smooth it out. Oh my God, it looks horrible right now. I'm trying not to freak out. I think after the second layer, it'll be a lot more smooth. I'm gonna use this clay softener. It's basically an oil that helps soften clay and it'll make it a lot easier to smooth out the seams. I already tested it here. There's a big seam where two pieces connected and I think it looks a lot less noticeable. Like you can only see the bumps that are from the foil really. But also we're gonna manage our expectations. Okay, she's not gonna be as silky smooth as my regular Maxines that are made from solid clay. This one's gonna be a little more realistic, a little more bumpy like the real goldfish are. So yeah, I'm gonna keep going. Here is our goldfish body after the second layer. Um, she is still fairly bumpy. If I were to be really precious about it, I would probably try to fill in all of these bumps, especially on this side, but it's already four o'clock and I kinda wanna get this done today. So we're just gonna move on. I'm hoping that when I add the rest of the body parts, it helps cover up the majority of these bumps, especially right here. There's gonna be the tail fin and yeah. I think the front looks smooth enough. At this point, things really started coming together for me. I probably spent around two hours just laying the clay over the foil and trying to smooth and even it out. I definitely think in the future, if I were to try this again, I would use a lot more clay to use thicker layers so that the bumps on the foil don't become such a problem. I even went on a ton of Reddit posts about people sculpting with Palmer clay and when using foil as an armature, people usually do use a thick thicker layer to build up the smoothness, but I understand my thought process while I was making this. I just wanted to use the least amount of clay as possible because I only had like five blocks left. So next time I would definitely be a lot more liberal with my clay. Okay, into the oven she goes. She's mostly hollow, so I'm gonna bake her just for a little longer than my usual time. See you guys in 30 minutes. Moment of truth.
Even though she's not perfect, I'm so happy that I challenged myself to make something new and it was actually so, so fun to make. So I hope you guys liked this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye. Rusty red on her shoulder I was cleaning her shoe When it clicked on the trot over In the black morning dew We brushed and we braided Dandelions and chewed It was a mutual arrangement We both